exit from the Jets. What can you tell us? This was officially announced last night, Kay. Really no surprise. It seems like all parties involved actually knew Bowles was going to get fired. Not a couple of days ago, but a couple of weeks ago. Started out with the bang. Obviously so much promise to his coaching career with the Jets. And he was a pretty big time candidate when they hired him. But under five wins or under five wins over the past three years was just not enough for the New York Jets. There were issues all over the place. Yes, talent issues, of course, but issues on his coaching staff and just simply not enough wins now the jets have an opening and honestly with sam darnold now one of the more coveted jobs this is the job that is going to get the top candidates now another opening that was created last night again not really a surprise here dirk cutter officially fired by the tampa bay buccaneers they retain the search firm corn ferry to help them and general manager jason light who is staying in his job to help run the search uh, they now need a new coach in in tampa bay and again not a huge surprise here. Dirk Cutter signed off his radio show for the last time right before the game, basically saying, if this is it, I'll always be a fan of the Bucs. There was talk of a team meeting on uh, actually today, and Cutter said, oh, who knows if I'll even be here. In fact, he will not be there, and the Bucs now need a new coach. They do. He uh, had a couple of bad seasons. They haven't made the playoffs since 2007, that Bucks squad. A lot of turnover at the head coaching position down there as well. We'll see who it attracts, and we'll be discussing that all postseason long. But yesterday's loss to the Texans finally put an end to a difficult season for the Jags, too. What's going on? What's the mood in Jacksonville? Well, the Jacksonville Jaguars and owner Shad Khan opted for stability above all else. He decided in a statement right after the game, clearly something that was prepared and ready regardless of the result, that he had told Tom Coughlin, charge of football operations there, that he preferred to keep Marone and to keep general manager Dave Caldwell. And it sounded like from the statement that Cod also hoped that Coughlin would agree with him. Coughlin, in fact, did agree with him. So all of them are sticking around in Jacksonville. They still need a new offensive coordinator, but they're going with the people who brought them all the way to the AFC title game last year, of course, minus Blake Boyles, who is expected to be released. And then, Kay, there was another situation surrounding Leonard Fournette, who spent most of the game on the bench with a teammate, away from the offense, really, away from the action. Coffin released, this is it right there, Coffin released a statement after the game calling it disrespectful and selfish. Then there was an AP report that the Jaguars intend to take away all of his guaranteed money. I am told, though, that if the Jags do intend to void Fournette's guaranteed money for his suspension earlier in the week, he is, or earlier in the year, he is going to file agreements, and it's not quite clear that they have the ability to do that.